If you are familiar with the TriPy library, you might also be aware of the limitations. For instance, if you want to get the tweet of a given user, you only have access to the most recent 3,200 um, tweets. And also, something with TriPy library is that you need, you know, the TriPy credentials in order to perform those um, extractions. And as you might also know, you know, the TriPy is only made for Twitter. For instance, you cannot collect um, data from Facebook, Instagram, and so on. And sometimes, as data scientists, you might not want to deal with all these difficulties and also want to collect data from multiple platforms. And to deal with this issue, there is a new library called SNSCRAP. This library get rid of the limitations for um, TwiPy and also there is no need to apply for any um, credentials for using the library. And in addition to all of those, you can collect data from not only Twitter, but also Instagram, Facebook, and more social platforms. And in this tutorial, we will see how you can collect even millions of tweets using that library. So the first step is to install the SNSCRAP module using the pip install command. So I'm using this dash qqq to not ignore, like to completely ignore the output sometimes that we get when installing the libraries. So after that, we import import the SNSCRAP dot modules dot tweet dot twitter as snt so after installing like um, installing the essence crop module i import the twitter um function as snt and right after that what we can do is let's say that we want to collect tweets about the world cup so Using the hashtag World Cup, what we can use this instruction from the SNT. You use the Twitter search scrapper um, class. This class takes as parameter the hashtag World Cup, and with that we store the results in this variable called World Cup scrapper. And running this, let's have a look at what World Cup Scrapper is. So as you can see here, this is a Twitter search scrapper instance. So to get the data from this scrapper, what you have to do is to use the gets items function. So let's see that for um, tweets in the world cap scrapper dot get items get items since we have a lot of tweets like we don't want to go through all these tweets so let's say that we have on um, this tweet this tweet equals the tweet and right after that we break to stop like we only get the first um, tweets in the batch of tweets that has been collected from the hashtag World Cup and let's have a look at what this tweet is so as you can see we have a bunch of information from the tweets um, we have the URL the date of a tweet um, yeah, with date of a tweet, which is a date time, and also the content of the tweet. This is um, basically the textual information written by the person. So we can see you won my heart, EMI, Emilio Martinez, World Cup, Argentina, Messi, and so on and so forth. And as you can see, you know, sometimes we don't want all this information, we just want to get a subset of fields. We might say that we want to get the URL, the dates, the content of a tweet, the number of like, and the number of follower of this person who tweeted, and also the username of the person who tweeted. So in this case, what we can do is to 
I mean, basically what I have done here is to um, create this function that gets all this information. Let's break down everything, how it works. So first of all, I create this function called grab tweet and it takes into parameter the total number of tweets that we want to collect. Like I said, we can get like more than millions of tweets um, from the from this library. And what I do here is to um, instantiate a final tweet, which is an empty list. Every time we collect a new tweet, we store this in this final tweet. And then we iterate through all the tweets, um, specifying the index and also the actual tweets. The goal of the index is to kind of get the number of tweets we are getting all the time. So index will go through one and so on, like get the total number of tweets we are trying to collect. So the first iteration index will be one, second iteration index will be two, a third index will be three and so on. And I get here the user, world cup tweet, which is that user. And we tweet data, now we get the tweet data. So I'm only interested in getting the URL of a tweet, the date of a tweet, the content of a tweet, the username, the display name, description of a person's tweet information, the number of followers that person has, the friends counts. I think this friends count is something similar to the number of followers, but I'm getting it anyway. I'm collecting the information anyway. The number of like these tweets had and also their number of retweets these tweets had. And after that, what we do is to add this current tweet data into the list of tweets that we have. And we check if index equals the total number that we have uh, specified here. If we say that we want to get, let's say, 1 million. If the index equals uh, 1 million, then we stop collecting the tweets. Okay, so that is the reason why we specify the if section here. And after that, once we have the um, list of all the tweets, then we can finally create the um, tweets as a data frame, creating like using the pandas that data frame. A module to get the final tweet and columns getting the column names actually the column names is the list of oops sorry about that <laughs> i think it has downloaded something here so let's create these column names i have pre-computed those information here so we have the column names this is exactly the same information that we have in this list. And before that, let's import pandas as PD because we want to create um, data frames. So pandas as PD. And with this, everything is already set up. So then we can finally run all this information using we specify like specifying the number. I'm not gonna get like two hundred thousand, but let's say that we want only two hundred for simplicity's sake. You can, in your case, you know, provide more than that, like one million if you want. But I'm going only with um two hundred, so that you know this is for processing time. And if I run this one, it might take a bit of time as well. And here I check um, the shape of my data and my data has 201 and 10 columns. So if you check the first five observations of the tweet data, so we can see that we have all these columns that we have specified the URL, the date, the content, the username, the display name, description of a tweet, the follower count, the friends count. I think the friends count is the number of person this specific user is following. So this is the friend count. 
the number of like these tweets got zero like and you know <laughs> zero like well the number of retweet which is the world cup retweet actually this is the retweet count one more time again to make sure i have everything set up to have the correct columns names so the shape doesn't change you know 201 10 columns and let's have a look one more time of those tweets so as you can see you know the retweets count is zero so this is all for this um tutorial if you like it give it a thumbs up and also the source code will be available in the description section and i have also written in a full article explaining all the steps and you can get access to this on my medium on my medium blog as well also let me know in the description sections if there are um I mean the comment section if there are some um, topic ideas that you want me to cover in my next videos take care bye bye and thank you for watching